Jam School Remix. Here's a counterintuitive mathematical principle that you can use to score free drinks. To make everything as fair as possible, I'm making these at least one full match length apart. We're gonna play a game. You're gonna drop a match down. Would you rather aim to avoid the line or try to hit the line? There's more space between the lines, so I say between the lines. You say between the lines? I tell you what, you know what? We'll do a team thing. You and me, we'll go for on the line, and they're gonna go for between Wait, the lines. We'll do 10 at a time. And we'll all take turns. You gotta be at least, we'll say, 18 inches up. Yeah! Ooh, between the lines! <laughs> touching. Oh, it's touching the line! Well done! Here we go, I'm gonna go as well. Oh, one for you guys! All right. Yay! All right, so let's tell you that. First of all, I guess we'll, we'll do the one between the lines. That's you guys. Uh, we got one, two, three, Four, five. So we got five not touching the lines. And here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not touching the lines. First of all, we take skill out of the equation by making you go this high up. Once you go this high up, there's really no way to skillfully land on either one area or the other. The other thing is the perception that one choice is more fair than the other. You look at this and you see all this real estate in between the lines and you think, oh, well that's clearly gonna be the bigger target, easy to get inside. But you're far, far more likely to hit one of the lines than avoid them. This is a math puzzle called uh, Buffon's Needles and the odds were very weird because they actually turned out to be two to pi. You can actually calculate pi by dropping a million needles on a grid just like this. I tried using toothpicks with this, but the problem was is they were too uniform and they would land flat. But the nice thing about wooden matches is they got this bulbous head at the end that causes a lot of randomness when it lands. It's also that I went crosswise. I used a diagonal here for my lines, so it makes everything look a little more chaotic. And so it also keeps you from lining shots up precisely. You gotta make sure that the lines are one match length apart the entire way. If you get off of that, then the numbers get all screwy and you can no longer rely on that probability. You're gonna find that different materials bounce differently. You want as random a drop as you can get. If you find that people are actually beating you at the game, it means that something's wrong with the setup of your configuration. You're using the wrong object to drop, you're having them drop it too low, the board's set up with the wrong springiness, who knows? Make sure to troubleshoot it out and figure out what works best for you. Do yourself a favor and start playing with one of those Buffon needle simulators out there. It is amazing to watch as the iterations go up and it gets closer and closer to determining actual pie just by dropping needles. Scam School Remix brings you the best of nine years and 500 plus episodes of Scam School. Dive into the complete archive or check out our latest venture, The Modern Rogue, where we're wildly irresponsible and dangerous and awesome.